humans emerged at least half a million years earlier than first thought, according to a million-year-old human skull found in China. Scientists claim their analysis changes our understanding of human evolution and could rewrite the history of the human race. Well, Juliet Mann has been speaking to one of the scientists behind this research. This skull actually has been out of the ground for a long time. It was found back in 1990 in central China, um, and it dates to about a million years ago. So it's a very interesting fossil just from that point of view. And it was found with, uh, there are two other skulls from the site, um, and this one had been crushed in the ground, so it was out of shape. And my Chinese colleagues have uh, applied some very nice techniques using CT scanning, and computers to reconstruct the skull close to its original shape. And that meant for the first time it could be studied properly, comparing it with over a hundred other human fossils. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? There are very many different human skulls that are out there. Um, what, is, what stands out from this particular study that, that helps you learn something new? Yes, yeah, so at a million years old, the expectation was that this fossil belonged to the species Homo erectus, erect human, and that's a widespread species. Uh, we know it was in Africa. It was certainly over in China and Java uh, it, earlier on uh, in Western Asia. So this species was around widely, and it was assumed that this specimen belonged to that species. But I had seen pictures of it um, and studies of it from before and I doubted that it belonged to Homo erectus and so joining with my Chinese colleagues uh, we've been able to analyze it and show that it, it is different from Homo erectus it represents something new and our analyses suggest that it's an early member of the group that included Dragon Man, Homo longi, and also these people called the Denisovans, who we mainly know about from their DNA from a site in uh, Siberia. So having it as a member of that lineage suggests that that lineage goes back at least a million years, which is the age of this fossil. Does that mean we're not closer but we're further away from discovering really where human beings like you and me really come from? Well, not really. We, we think this helps to sort that out because our lineage goes back as well to that time. So when this lineage of this fossil from Yungshani existed a million years ago, already f on our analyses, the ancestors of Homo sapiens, our species, of the Neanderthals, of another species called Homo heidelbergensis, those other branches had already branched off from the lineage of Dragon Man and Yuxian. And so that pushes back our own species origin, our own lineage origin, to beyond a million years, and that of the Neanderthals as well. Some genetic data suggested we only split from Neanderthals maybe half a million years ago. Our analysis would suggest it's double that age. Wow. Well, j just quickly, because it, it sounds like there is a lot more to learn. What happens next? Well, yes, yeah, so obviously there should be early representatives of all of these lineages a million years ago, if we're correct. They may be there out there, or maybe we've still got to discover them. So, yes, we have a lot more to do in comparative data to look at other fossils, but also more information from this fossil and from the Dragon Man fossil. So there's lots of elements, for example, details of the shape of the brain, uh, the ear bones. There's lots of other details we can add to these studies, maybe eventually even some genetic data in the form of fossil proteins, which will also help us.